Hi friends, it's Split 2 and Ranked for Apex Legends Season 14. You'll want to rank up if you want those ranked rewards, so I've got you covered with an updated loot map to help guide you on the best places to drop on Stormpoint to help you rank up faster before Season 14 finishes. The first thing I will say is you might want to adjust your dropping strategy as you rank up. At the start of this rank split, you'll be reset to a lower rank where the entry cost is slightly lower, so you can drop in more daring places early in split too. But as you rank up, you might want to adjust this to drop in quieter POIs so you can focus on gaining that RP. Unless you're a triple stacked predator team of course, in which case then you can just be super aggressive and push every POI. So here's the loot map I've created for Stormpoint with the updated loot zones. As normal, the high tier loot zones are marked in purple, mid tier loot zones in blue, and basic tier in grey. For Stormpoint, I find hotspots vary based on the dropship because it's a bigger map, but there are a few points of interest that do normally have other teams landing there pretty consistently. These are the wall, stormcatcher, barometer, and checkpoint. Now I recommend trying out these hot drop locations early on in your rank split when your entry cost might not be as high and that's because it will allow you to pick up more KP early on. And remember, this rank split, the more KP you get, the faster you'll rank up, because there are no caps on the amount of KP you can earn. However, as I mentioned, when your entry cost gets a little higher as you start to rank up, I'd recommend a quieter point of interest towards the outside of the map. Try to still pick a good loot zone, so look for those blue and purple zones, but focus on places with a beacon, an armory or a crafter, and I'd say the beacon strategy works best on Stormpoint out of any of the maps on Apex Legends. If you don't know what the beacon strategy is, it's basically where you land on a beacon at the start, before looting, and then tailoring your rotations into the next zone based on where there's another beacon, and you just keep doing that, focusing on zone rotations and beacon scanning, until you get to the top 10 or top 5 depending on your rank, and that's when you then start picking up KP. In terms of quieter points of interest, High Point, North Pad, Gale Station are pretty good ones depending on the drop path, because these places do tend to have a crafter or a scanning beacon, or even an armory, and these are often places I will drop if I want to try and focus on gaining RP without worrying about early fights. And that can be quite important as a solo queue, because sometimes early fights just won't go your way. A fun little place I also like to drop, which is a smaller point of interest, but does often tend to be a little bit quieter, is Siren's Isle. Now I know it's only a basic tier, but there is an IMC armory here, plus there's often a beacon you can scan, and even a crafter there, so it makes up for it with great additional add-ons to your game, which can really help you rank up faster. Don't forget, with rank this season you do need to pick up KP, so if you're landing in one of these quieter places, that's fine, focus on zone rotations, but just make sure you are picking up KP as you rotate. The final tip I want to give you is simply to find the point of interest that you're comfortable with and just keep landing there. And the reason you want to keep doing that is because you kind of build up muscle memory. You remember where the buildings are, what the layout is, exactly where the loot is. And that means you'll be able to react a lot faster if you've got other teams landing there. And that should help you get those early kills. I hope this helps you better understand where the best places to loot and drop are for ranked on Stormpoint in Season 14. By the way, I'm hosting a 1v1 challenge for my subs with Apex coin prizes to the winner. It will take place on my stream next Saturday at 7:30 p.m. UK time. That's around 11:30 PT time. I need 10 contestants, so sign up in the Discord link in the comments below if you want to have some fun and win some Apex coin. Good luck with your ranks journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.